Hey everybody, the DeWalt 20 volt pin nailer is one of the newest cordless releases to come out of DeWalt's for Carpenters. We were excited to see DeWalt continuing to update and add to their finished nailer lineup. And we're really hoping that this is maybe a start for a Gen 2 update on their finish and brad nailers. Hint, hint. Um, pin nailers shoot thin, ultra thin, headless 23 gauge pins or nails. Uh, and it's the smallest fastener for pneumatic and cordless type of finish nailers like this. Because of this, pin nailers leave a very tiny and barely visible mark in the wood. This is huge when dealing with pre-finished moldings and small trim parts and, you know, molding returns and things like that. And for me, that translates mostly into finished kitchen cabinetry and molding returns, stuff like that, that's uh, pre-finished. So first impression on the DeWalt pin nailer, uh, it is larger and heavier than I really hoped for. I was hoping it was going to be more compact. Um, it measures about three by eight um, inches and it's about four pounds, a little bit more than four pounds. It is also a little top heavy compared to the Milwaukee M12 pin nailer, uh, which we've been using for some time and, and we're used to it. It's top heavy right here. Um, I was pleasantly surprised though to learn that the DeWalt is only really a, about a pound more than the M12 pin nailer. Although when you look at the size, I would have thought it weighed way more because um, the difference is, is, is crazy. Um, basically DeWalt followed the design of most pin nailers by designing a non-retractable contactless tip and that's got that secondary safety interlock trigger system where you have to activate a safety first before you can pull the trigger. The result of that is the pin nailer has a better line of sight and does not need to be pushed against the woodwork to fire a pin nail. Um, this DeWalt 20 volt pin nailer has a brushless motor capable of driving, like I said, 23 gauge nails from 5 8 inch all the way up to an inch and a half. The uh, nailer magazine holds 110 pins. And DeWalt advertises that you can shoot up to an average of 2,000 pins per charge on a two amp hour battery. And look, that's more than enough runtime from to last a month or more for me. The DeWalt pin nailer also has a 10 fastener dry fire lockout feature. And I really like the feature. When the nailer locks out, two red LED indicator lights light up to inform you of this, which is great. Uh, there's also a spring-loaded button at the top of the magazine, inside the magazine, that activates this feature. So once that last nail, the 11th nail, passes that button, boom, it activates the spring-loaded pin and the light lights up. An additional trigger safety was added in case you know somebody holds that trigger down, safety trigger for more than 10 seconds. Um, it'll shut down the dry, it'll shut down uh, the, the nailer and the red light will come on until you reset that trigger. Um, I look, I think that's a good feature and as I can tell you, I, for many, many times over the years, I've seen guys walking around with, either with their finger on the trigger or holding a safety feature like that down. The depth of drive adjustment knob on this pin nailer works well and is responsive. You simply just turn it to the right, the pin goes deeper, left, shallower. Simple, intuitive. What I don't like about the depth of drive adjustment is that it cannot be adjusted quickly on the fly. You have to adjust your grip on the nailer, open the nose cover, and then you can access the knob. I don't know why DeWalt did that. Um, as far as tool-free adjustments and things uh, on the tool, everybody likes tool-free adjustments, and this pin nailer has a whole bunch. While playing with the tool-free release procedure, um, uh, the jam release procedure, I noticed there was a red colored rubber band-like connection holding some parts together. I, I don't know really why they chose rubber band, but I question the durability and longevity of this and consider, considering we store these tools in the summer and winter and vans and things, you know, I guess time will tell on this and we'll do a look back review in a year or so. Line of sight on this pin nailer is outstanding. Uh, to accurately place a pin nail exactly where you want it, you just line up the perpendicular crosshairs, the cross marks that are located on the Nomar tip. Uh, and there's also a secondary Nomar tip on the tool. I was able to accurately place a pin nail um, right where I wanted it just by lining up the crosshairs. Uh, there are two LED lights on either side of the nailer and they throw a body of light forward and kind of a vertical uh, strip of light. Um, really bright and not a lot of shadows and, and left or right users. So thank you DeWalt for listening to our frustrations about a LED light on the one side of the tool, on one side. We took the uh, 20 volt pin nailer to our job site and we used it in some poplar trim and molding returns and we wanted to just see how it worked and what the guys thought of it. Um, I also tested it here in the shop. I used some hardwood mahogany, oak, sapile. Um, the nailer works 
great. No negative issues. I really like it. Uh, it sets and sinks nails well in hardwoods. The only improvements I would like to see maybe to this nailer is the size and weight. I'd love to see the thing reduced a little bit, as well as the depth of drive um, adjustment knob. I'd love to see that thing being, be able to access it without lifting the nose cover. Um, I found this online at Acme Tools uh, as a bare tool for $249 and as a kit for $300. It comes with two amp hour battery and charging. I'll put a link in the description below to it. Overall impressions of the nailer though, um, easy to use, super nice tool, powerful, certainly welcome addition to the DeWalt Finished Carpentry cordless lineup. Um, and like I said, this nailer is going to find its way onto our crew. One of the guys is going to be going after this, I'm sure. Uh, it's, it's well done. It's just got a few little things I'd like to see tweaked. Other than that, um, I'm going to be sure to do a 12 to 24 month look back on this and, and just see how, uh, how it fares over time. I'm Rob Robillard. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell right there. We'll see you next time. Take care.